When performing a canine physical exam, it is good to develop a system and use that system on every patient. Most start with the tip of the animal's nose and work their way to the tip of the tail. A physical exam should be completed in a timely manner. A canine physical exam begins when the patient walks into the exam room. The veterinary staff can observe how the patient is moving. They will be able to tell if the animal is limping or if the animal has stiffness in its body. This is also a good time to assess the patient's temperament and overall health status. Starting with the animal's head, the technician looks at symmetry, if there's any hair loss or swelling, and even muscle mass on the skull. Next, she will look at the patient's muzzle, looking for symmetry of the nostrils, soft spots on the bridge of the nose, and she will lift his lips and check the animal's teeth for any abnormalities and to check his color of his mucous membranes. The technologist examines the patient's eyes next. She's looking for bright, clear eyes and uniform pupils. The ears are examined next. She's looking for clean, dry ears with no redness, odor, or debris. Working down the body, she will palpate the submandibular lymph nodes for enlargement. She will palpate the throat and trachea for any abnormalities. As she gets to the trunk of the body, she will examine the skin and coat of the patient, the body score condition. She will look for tumors, hair loss, ectoparasites, and check the hydration status. She will also check the prescapular, axillary, inguinal, and popliteal lymph nodes. While examining the trunk of the body, she will listen to the patient's heart and lungs to make sure there are, are no murmurs or congestion present. During this time, the heart rate and respiration rate can be measured. She will then check the patient's limbs for symmetry, inflammation, and range of motion. She will also check the pads of the patient's feet for abrasions and the length and health of the patient's nails. She will then take the patient's temperature and record her findings into the patient's chart.